Let's do a quick rack tour. Starting with the rack, it's a 42U StarTech. There's their logo. Never heard of them before or since I purchased this about a year ago. But it's great, works, it's sturdy, it's huge. Never gonna outgrow it. Um, expandable. So if I wanted to more than double the size, I can, I think, expand it to 38 inches or something. I don't know. Really big. Basically, I can do all this on the back. Don't really have the best cable management or lighting going on back there, so I'm not going to bother showing you back there. This thing was only like 300 bucks, not even like two, 269 I think. It's open on top. It's open on all the sides. It's basically just the frame, I suppose. I'm not really interested in blocking up the sides because why? It's just blocking the airflow. <laughs> if I ever decide that it's just too ugly, I'll cover that myself with any number of things. Probably some fabric that's breathable. Something like I use down here under the screen. This is just a spandex material. It'll let air pass right through it to keep everything cool. So up top, these are Panamax MR4000. Basically, they're just power strips. I don't think they do any kind of line conditioning or anything. I don't really care about that. I just wanted something that was not going to take up a ton of room, and I could also bolt into the rack. There's two of those. I think they have eight outlets on the back, and then on the front they've got another one. These light up all the time no matter what and they're white and it's really bright it shines on the screen so you'd think these buttons would turn off not only this blue but also those but it didn't so I took a sharpie and colored over it and just dims it out it's pretty annoying obviously this rack light all these lights none of them are on during during any kind of viewing in here uh, got Apple 4K TV right there. This is uh, our main source of entertainment. Is this uh, Sony? It's the 800 M2. It's been good. We watched a couple 3D movies on it. Does everything I needed to do and then some. Totally happy with it. I was worried when I bought it because I heard people having trouble with the pictures freezing on them. I have not experienced that at all. My son has the 700 smaller version of this, and his has been totally fine too, so I don't know, maybe the original, like the first series of them, Mark I, uh, maybe that was the only one that was affected. No idea, but mine's fine. Recommend it. PS5 there. What can I say? Waited a long time before I found one. I still paid a hundred bucks over MSRP, but what are you gonna do? AC Infinity fan on the den in here. This is a thermostat controlled. Um, you know, it kicks on and off as it needs to. I've got it set for, it's, it, I have it set at 90, so it's trying to keep it under 90. So it'll come on on like one speed when it gets up there probably about 80 degrees and then it'll step up the fan speed as needed to try to keep it below the 90. Got an alarm set on it for 110 that's never gonna happen. <laughs> Works great it's nice and quiet unless it's really moving I mean if it's if it's probably on fan speed 4 or higher then it, it makes some noise but honestly it's it's no more noisy than the projector fan. <laughs> It's not bad. No, I don't even hear it unless it's a really quiet part of the movie. The den in here, that's the AVRX 3600H. And I waited to get this until the 3700Hs came out. Because uh, the price, of course, on these went down. And I ended up getting this thing for less than $700. And it uh, powers 9 channels, processes 11. So it's all that I need in this little room for now. I think currently the only amplifiers in it that I'm using are just for the the rear surround. Oh, let me think here. The rear surrounds and the the back 
at most channels. That's what it's powering. Everything else, uh, the front sound stage and the side surrounds are being powered by these Emotiva amps, which are the basic line, kind of the entry level Emotiva. Uh, the A3, three channel, A5 is a five channel. My speakers are all Emotiva. Uh, the front sound stage are four ohm. So the A3 running those should be giving them 200 watts per channel at four ohm. So I don't know, it's, I hear about these people getting amplifiers that are like 500 watts a channel. I don't, I don't need that. We don't even watch movies at reference volume in here and it's, it's plenty loud and it's, the sound clarity is just fine. What else? Got a couple of utility drawers. These are made by AC Infinity as well. Got some power coming through the back here. Charging up the PS5 controllers, or storage for movies or whatever. Got two of these, so I've got extra cables, interconnects, setup mic. And at the bottom, that's just a, this is a steel block off plate, an 8U size, so I'm just covering up the open gap. And then this SVS, that's, uh, that's just magnetized to it. I thought it looked cool. Don't make fun of me. Uh, all these block off plates, these are all aluminum, brushed aluminum, also AC Infinity, so they match the front of the fan perfectly. They match the drawers, obviously. It's kind of dark in here, but... I'm gonna do something with the lights. I'm gonna build a crossbar over the top of this. That's two Govee lights that are just stuck together. Uh, I'm gonna separate the two of them. The one's gonna shine down the back side so I can see the interconnects if I ever have to get back there for anything. And then the front will pretty much sit right where it's at. It's gonna shine down very much like it is now. Anyway, uh, just a brief rack tour.